I'm not going to waste your time. The first software that I want you to download right now is Listery. So Listery is a software that works not within Premiere, but on your Windows. So what it lets you do is instantly search up anything on your PC. Literally, all you need to do is double click control on your keyboard. And then it opens up the search bar, almost like the Windows search bar. And it searches your entire PC. But instead of taking like 15, 20, 30 seconds just to search up one thing, it does it literally within not even milliseconds, bro. And you're going to find this software in specific really useful for if you're using things like sound effects memes but honestly even if you don't use them often like just trust me use this it's like you can search up any folder you can search up any like asset any project it literally saves me like an hour of a day it's free go search it up right now it's called listery the reason i'm doing this pisses me off when people make like a five minute section on one software that you can just tell me the name and it's easy to use but instead i want to spend my time explaining a little more about the next section and we're going to start this off with a little story so it's midnight i've just spent the last six hours on a single long form video and I'm finally ready to send it off to my client. So this is what I usually do when I finish off a video. I'll let it upload to the drive and then I go do my nighttime routine and then I head off to sleep. But when it came around to me sending the Google Drive link to the client, there was a problem. One that meant the client wouldn't even manage to get his video. The video didn't upload. So I tried it again and it kept getting cancelled again and again. The reason it wasn't uploading is because my Google storage was full. I hit my 15 gigabyte limit and I think it was like almost 100 small files that added up that I could just delete and now I had space to go send off my client's video. So an hour's past, it's 1am now, client's finally got his video and I'm able to sleep. Looking back at it, I'm realising what an idiot I was. I lost an entire hour of sleep to save $2 on a Google Drive storage subscription. Like you hear people say it all the time, right? Oh, time is money, time is money. But obviously you, everyone agrees with that, right? Like as cringe as it sounds, you you know, like it's become kind of cliche, but it is true, right? Like I agreed with the whole idea that, okay, time is money. My time is valuable, but then I believe that. So why was I here spending a whole hour to save $2? And if anything, this like event of me having to stay up and like delete files in order to make space for a new video, it's like, it happened more than once. It would probably happen like at least once a week. So I was spending four hours a month to save $2. And if you're not too good at math, let me break it down for you. That's 50 cent an hour. If your time is worth anything more than 50 cent an hour, you should have a Google Drive storage subscription. If you're spending that time on something as useless as that, spend the $2 and get rid of that stress. You'll have that extra time to go finish your video. You'll have that extra time to go sleep so you can wake up tomorrow and be re-energized to edit again. You saving two bucks a month isn't going to make you rich. But do you know what will? If you can actually value your time and spend it wisely. Like bro, I promise you, if you're still sitting on like 15 gigabytes of storage, if that's all you have to your name, I promise you, the content that I post isn't going to help you. There's no benefit to you finishing this video if you're not able to invest $2 into your editing career. Like you need to understand, I don't get any benefit from this bro. Like you going to pay Google Google two dollars a month that doesn't benefit me in any way the reason i'm telling you is as a video editor your job revolves around moving around large files and i was a dumbass that stuck at 15 gigabytes for an entire year and i would stay up an extra hour just to clear those files like as soon as you make that upgrade you'll realize why was i even considering this as an expense bro like it's just an obvious thing it's like it's the highest roi thing you could do so imagine like you were going to go cut your hair and like at the barbers and that if your barber cut your skin because because he didn't want to spend on new clippers because he wanted to save those few bucks so that he didn't have to like buy better equipment to cut your hair would you ever go to him again because you might not realize it but that's what you're doing by saving two bucks just to not have to pay for google drive storage like it's essential to your job the only reason i'm spending so long talking about this point is because i know there's still some editors watching this that are wondering why do i not have time to finish videos oh it's so hard to manage video editing with school and this and that and it's like but you you're valuing your time at 50 cent an hour and before i go into this third point this third software that will genuinely speed up the way you edit and your whole premiere pro workflow i want to break down this concept that i found so interesting especially earlier in my career it's this concept that you have three resources that you could invest into your career to make progress those are time money and energy and what this basically means is the more of these you can invest the faster progress you'll make and when you're first starting out the way you get the most leverage 
is by spending your time and energy. Why? Because let's be real, when you're starting out, you don't want to be spending like 50k on like a new setup and stuff. You don't need to buy a studio to become a video editor in it. That's why I'm saying when you're first starting out, it's time and energy. And in an ideal world, we'll be able to put all the three. That's why someone like Mr. Beast is able to make so much progress. That's why he's literally like the fastest growing channel on YouTube. He puts a stupid amount of hours of his own time into it. His heart and soul is dedicated to his craft. All he does is think YouTube and he's putting a stupid amount of money into his production and his team and how his research like all of it he's got all three resources going into his channel he's got time energy and money and that's not me saying that you need to spend a hundred million in order for you to be able to become a good editor no that's not what I'm saying of course we don't all have the same leverage as Mr Beast but what I'm saying is for something as small as two dollars you get a stupid amount of like return on investment do you not and that brings me on to the third software that I want you to use. I want you guys to spend your two resources of time and energy into learning your mouse software. I teach a lot of my binds and my macros and shortcuts on my Twitter but what you'll find is as well as being able to like instantly just use those and follow those tutorials you'll find a lot of benefit in learning how to use your software yourself. Whatever your mouse's software is spend some time just mess about with it like learn oh how do I make a macro that nests something automatically. Have that as an actionable task for this video find out how can you make a nest sequence by just clicking one button that's what i've got i want you to learn how to do it in your own mouse software and the thing is i know most people aren't going to listen to this right it's like why because it takes too much time and it takes too much energy but what did we say it's when you're able to put these resources into your craft that's when you make progress so like are you just going to be like everyone else who doesn't spend the time to do that task or are you actually going to invest your resources the ones that you have into learning so i want you to do that at the end of this video in fact I want you to write it down because I know whenever someone tells me to do something in a video I never do it unless I write it down so bring up like a post-it note so I actually have post-its for this exact thing just write on a post-it what you're going to do so I want you to make a macro for nesting through your mouse software yes it's going to be uncomfortable you might not know how to use shortcuts yet but that's the whole point I'm not here like those other editing gurus that are like five easy steps to make 10k a, a month with video editing clients like that's not why I'm here I'm not here to bullshit you and tell you yo this is how the quick and easy steps because let's be real if it was that easy to make 10k a month editing everyone would be doing it bro and you know that like just if everyone was making that sort of money and it was that easy to the point where one youtube video could teach you how to make 10k a month using ai tools and editing with this technique like if it was that easy everyone would be doing it the shit i'm telling you isn't the sexy answer bro i'm telling you go spend your resources your time your energy your money to go learn things and that starts with you taking initiative downloading whatever mouse software you use whether it be the logitech one razor one and finding out how the fuck do i make a nesting macro like i could show you the exact macro that i use but that's something that works with my clients on my workflow like for your workflow whatever client you use you're gonna have times where it's like oh i'm doing this one task 50 times the next hour let me just make it a macro and then i do that in literally 10 seconds i want you to get to that point i don't want to give you a cookie cutter solution i'm here to teach you what's genuinely worked in my career what's gotten me to the point where I am today and I want to do it without being such a sellout like all these other editing gurus out there. In fact I made a tweet about this recently. I was saying that there's so many of these new editing accounts where they don't even have a portfolio. They don't even have editing posts in the last few months or anything. In fact their account isn't even like a year old but what they're doing is trying to teach editors how to become good editors and it's like how does that make sense? It's how can you teach someone to do something that you haven't done yet and what's even more fucked is you've got these ambitious editors these young guys it's people like you that they're taking advantage of and it's genuinely fucked because they're doing it as just like this quick money grab when they haven't even done it on their own they haven't worked with these huge creators but they're trying to teach you how to do the same like this is a bit of a side man like it's only for my boys now if you look at these guys if you go into these editing gurus these guys that are teaching you how to be good editors i want you to genuinely look for their portfolio now mine you can find it easily i, I have mine in the description for this exact reason because i want to give proof that i I've walked the talk but go onto these editing gurus pages scroll down and you realize they haven't even worked with big creators maybe they've done a practice edit or two bro like they haven't actually done anything that they're preaching to you about i'm not gonna name names but go onto these twitter pages of these editing gurus and go look at it yourself bro you'll find out who you should be listening to like you're genuinely entering this new period of your life right where you've been editing as a hobby you've been doing like game videos you were a gamer before and you've taken that hobby 
journey of editing and now you're trying to turn it into a career. What these guys are doing is capitalizing on your ambition. And if that doesn't piss you off, I don't know, man. Like to think that someone's only teaching me something for the sake of their own personal growth, their own gain, it's like, to me, that's a disgusting thing. You can check my Twitter, in fact. Like I've been giving like editing tips and I've been giving like editing advice and I've been showing my own work. In fact, I've kept every single tweet from when I first started in February, 2021. I've kept every single tweet. You can see the journey that I've been on. So now you've got two choices, right? You can either follow these 20K a month editing in 64 days. It's like you could follow those when they have no proof of doing anything. Or you can follow my message, the one where we've got our group of editors where we understand that yes it is possible these numbers that the guys are saying they are possible but it's not going to be through one youtube video or one quick magic pill which fixes everything that's not how it's going to be it's going to be by learning through investing our time effort sometimes money but it's mostly going to be time and effort and doing that over a long enough time it's by learning through the experiences of others it's by going out there and researching it's by going out there and practicing in premiere that's how you're going to get the most results these other guys aren't going to tell you that they're telling you to do all these other like storytelling retention trick outreach like yes these are all very very important you will not get clients without outreaching but your editing does have to be good bro i'm here to help you do that i'm gonna set you the framework to become a better editor to save your time while editing so you can spend more time actually learning rather than like fucking about in google drive type shit do you know what i mean if you're watching this part right now if you're listening to me speak right now bro like that means you agree with what i'm telling you you understand that sure it can be hard you understand that yeah it can take long maybe your editing isn't where you want it to be right now but you know that if you consume the right content if you consume shit from people that have actually done stuff before if you put in the practice if you find the right resources through good videos like these rather than like fucking top 10 ai tips that you'll never use you understand that if you use things like this then you will be on the right path and i can't wait to see the progress you're about to make bro because going from like a side hustle or hobby to full-time career editing or at least a full-time income from it like a couple thousand a month even it's such a beautiful journey journey man like business and running editing is a business but also being able to incorporate your hobby into it as well it's like it's the best of both worlds and I'm really glad that I can teach people this man it's like editing has changed my life it's changed the way I approach my day like I wake up excited that I'm about to edit these guys that I'm working with these are guys that I would consider my friends at this point and to think that three years ago I was editing four night videos man but I can't wait for you to go on this journey if you actually want to make progress as an editor then my videos are for you do all that youtube shit you know like subscribe these videos aren't highly edited you can tell i don't do this shit for retention i don't do this shit for like fucking views i just do it because i want to help you actually become a better editor so like subscribe do all that shit so you actually watch this but yeah take care man